Would the Honorable Minister please proceed with her statement? Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'm very proud today to rise and recognize Aboriginal Veterans Day. More than 7,000 First Nation members served in the First and Second World Wars and the Korean War, and an estimated 12,000 Inuit, Métis, and other Indigenous people also participated. These men and women represent over 600 communities, including upwards of 55 languages and distinct dialects. Their dedication and sacrifice in supporting our shared interests, both at home and around the world, speaks to a strong tradition of service and selflessness stemming back many, many generations. In doing so, Indigenous people have and continue to make incredible contribution to our country's peace and security. And this is something that we should all be very thankful for. This day is an opportunity for us to reflect not only on their service and sacrifice, but our relationships with our Indigenous people at large. We remain committed to fostering respectful relationships as we move forward on a true path to reconciliation. Let us never forget all those in uniform who answered the call of duty and made the ultimate sacrifice. Their legacy to all of us is a strong, free and united Canada, including the friendly Manitoba communities we all call home. Thank you.